what Kareem and Uber are now once. We don't need to distinguish between them. Can you tell us the experience of Kareem and Uber in Pakistan and how you're making it better for Pakistan and how is it that you claim it's overcoming the socioeconomic barriers in the country and providing more mobility options? Kareem has been in Pakistan for around five years now. And this includes uh, having a registered captain base of about 800,000 with customers around 900, uh, more than 9 million, uh, with rides, which would be approximately around 236 million rides have been taken on the Kareem platform. I think one of the biggest impact, if I have to just sum it up in one light, is, is it how it has majorly enhanced mobility, especially in the cities for men and also most importantly for the women. 36% of our customer base is our females. We do have insurance and ride insurance to ensure that if anything Allah happens, we do cover uh, cover them and cover the like passengers in the car. Uber and Kareem, this is something that we well recognize and we both invest in insurance programs to make sure that drivers are at least covered in case of injury and things like that. But it certainly is a gap and you know we acknowledge that. And I think it's something that it's not only the responsibility of the platforms to work on, but something for governments as well to have a look at. The major concern is the rate of tax, which Uber and Kareem are paying to the uh, Islamabad administration under the motor vehicle ordinance. The other concern is about the congestion uh, Uber and Kareem are causing on Islamabad, on the roads of Islamabad. The tax we charge them, that comes up uh, for Punjab, they are paying almost 0 0.06 rupees per person per year. There's no study or though there's no measure that how much congestion the Uber and Kareem has caused in Islamabad. We should have taxi drivers doing that. Uh, what's wrong with that? There should be more taxes in the street of Islamabad, uh, which we haven't had ever. I mean, should the streets be reserved only for the rich land cruiser owners or should the streets be shared by all of us? Uh, Uber ride hailing app is going to uh, drop you at a transitory point where the other person or the rider can avail the bus transit system or similar services that are available in a mass transit system uh, that are available in a city.